Hello, this video is to walk you through the steps to install Jabber on your Windows PC. You would have gotten an email with a path that will take you to the location of the software. So I'm going to show you and walk you through each step needed to actually install the software on your computer. So first, open that email and go ahead and copy the entire path and then open your browser, whichever one, whether it's Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox and paste that link into your browser and press enter. That takes you to this folder that has all the software you'll need. First thing I'd like you to install is the one called Plantronics Hub Installer. Go ahead and click on that and that'll start the download process of that software. Now that it has begun the download I'm going to choose keep on my particular browser. The software may take a few minutes to download so just follow the progress. Okay great now that that's finished downloading we're going to go ahead and click on it to launch the installer. In this window we're going to choose to run the software And here's our end user license agreement. We're going to agree to the EULA and then click on install. Now that the installation is complete, we're going to go ahead and launch the software. So you would click on launch. So the purpose of this Plantronics software is to keep your Plantronics headset up to date with all of its drivers. So generally if you ever have any issues with your headset, open this Plantronics hub and you can update your software from here and it usually resolves uh, any issues that you may be having with your headset so for now since I don't need this I'm gonna go ahead and close it so now that the Plantronics hub has been installed let's go ahead and install Jabber so back at our browser we have this Cisco Jabber setup file I'm going to click on that so I can download that software and begin to actually install Jabber. Once again, my browser has prompted me if I want to keep this file, and I do. So we can click on Keep, and it's going to begin the download. All right, so now our Jabber setup file is downloaded and ready to install, so I'm going to click on it to launch the installation. In this first window, we're asked to accept and install the software. So we're going to do just that. Click on Accept and Install. All right, now the installation is complete and we see we have this checkbox here for launch Cisco Jabber it's already checked so we're going to hit just click finish to go ahead and launch Jabber now that Jabber has opened it has already gotten my username from the computer if yours doesn't just go ahead and type in your username which is the part that comes before uh, the first part of your email address. So for example, mine is johnsonjulian at pcsb.org. I just don't need the at pcsb.org portion. Then in the password box, I'm going to hit type in my password. And then I'm also going to check the automatic sign in checkbox so that later when I launch my computer or open my computer and launch Jabber it will automatically log me in. 
So now that that's done, I'm going to click on Sign In. Because this is my very first time using Jabber on this computer, it initially asked me if I want to accept this certificate, which you do. So click on Accept to accept this certificate. Now that I'm logged into Jabber, it shows that I have I'm in a new location. For now, I'm going to close that because that's not needed. And Jabber is also going to prompt me a second time for another certificate. I want to actually accept this second certificate. I have Jabber on more than one computer in this scenario so it's asking me if I which computer do I want to use for my jabber and for now I'll say that I want to use this computer so yes I want to use the phone on this computer if you only have jabber on this one computer you will not be prompted as to whether or not you want to use jabber this is only for those users who may have jabber in more than one device so now that jabber is installed we have a couple of things we need to set up to make sure that your headset will work with your Jabber install. So in this Jabber hub window, we're going to go to the settings menu, which is just below the close button. We're going to click on menu, and then we want to put our cursor over the word file, and then I'm going to put my cursor over options and click on options. Now that the options window is open, let's finish the setup of Jabber. First, under the general tab, we want to start Cisco whenever my computer starts, so I'm going to check that box. At the bottom corner of the window, click on apply so that you can save that setting. Next section, we don't need chats, we're going to skip over to audio. And here is where you make sure that the device you want to use for your headset is the device that you have chosen. So for ringer alerts, this is where you would actually hear the ringtone when someone calls your Jabber phone. So you can have that as all devices, meaning your computer speakers as well as your headset, or you can choose it to be one device or another. In these speakers, Dropbox, this is where you decide where do you want to hear the person talking. If you have a Plantronics headset, you would choose your Plantronics device. And then finally for microphone, again if you have a Jabber headset or Plantronics headset, you would hit this drop down and select the microphone from your Plantronics device. Once that is done, you would click on apply the bottom corner of this box. The next tab that's important is going to be the calls tab. For those of you who have a camera on your laptop, you may want to choose to never start calls with video. Because if your recipient also has uh, video capabilities, they will be able to see you whenever you place a call to them. So to control that, you can choose to never start a call with video. And again, click on Apply at the bottom corner of the box. Now that you've set up your options, click OK to go ahead and close this window. The last thing you need to do to make sure your audio is functioning properly is on your Windows taskbar at the bottom of the screen, right click on your speaker's icon and choose playback devices by clicking on it. This will open up the sound management window. From here, you want to choose your Plantronics device, which will actually read Plantronics and you want to make sure that it is the default audio device or default communications device 
while your other speakers can be just a default device. So for example, right now I just have one set of speakers as a default device for everything, but I want to split that up. So I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to choose to leave that as default, select another one, and I'm going to choose that to be my default communications device. So now I'll have my Plantronics device is guaranteed to play any audio that comes through for communications such as my Jabber phone calls. And then select OK. Now your initial setup and install is complete. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually use Jabber to make phone calls and even create contacts.